where I'm standing. Um, right here, you'll see like how the lines are kind of diverging. I definitely feel like there's gonna be so much of a difference from the first time I captured this. I'm so thrilled that the Memphis Brooks Museum of Art selected Catherine Elizabeth Patton as one of the participating artists for Delta Voices, Artists of the Mid-South. Her work is incredibly captivating. She works with subjects who are able to express themselves as artists, as creators, as makers, and that really comes through in the work. I love the way that she's able to allow her subjects to convey something that's really key to who they are as artists, key to who they are as individuals. When you look at her images, you really get a sense of who this person is and what they're putting out there in the world as an artist. I'm a photographer, portrait photographer. I like to capture the essence of people. It started out as me just taking pictures of friends, I appreciated how you can freeze a moment and catch little fleeting moments of beauty. This is one of my favorite series. I wanted to communicate femininity. I just added this brass crown to communicate that she's a queen, she's regal, she's this very feminine being, you know, despite what she's heard other people say. It's also something I wanted for women to see for themselves, hopefully when they looked at this. I asked her to communicate through her eyes femininity. And I'll just be like, you know, don't mind me, you can keep talking. And I'll just, you know, take the in-between shots. I love the in-between moments because those in-between moments are where people are not thinking. They're not saying, okay, how do I look? It's just, they're moving. And I think that people are at their best when they're just, you know, in, in the in-between, you know? It's, I think that's where a lot of truth is. With any art, there's a level of vulnerability, a vulnerability that you have to have um, in order to even create it. I definitely have struggled with being vulnerable, which is why it's something that I want in my art so bad. And so I noticed that artists, they already have like a sense of self. They are constantly putting out this work that communicate who they are, you have to know who you are. And so when you know who you are and you're comfortable with that, I don't want to say it makes it easier for me to shoot them. It allows for like a, a connection or a synergy to happen where, like I said before, like if, if I can get someone to be vulnerable and be themselves and, you know, show up in front of the camera, it's, it's easier for me to capture what it is that I want to capture in a photo which is just honesty and truth. 2020 was rough. Um, mentally, there was a lot of uncertainty and creatively, I just dried out. I took that as a sign that I need to pour into myself more. I need to do more things that feed me, feed my spirit. And so one thing that I've done is I started going on photo walks. <laughs> For me, it was a mindfulness exercise um, to walk and really take in the things around me and really look at you know what's around me. I, I notice a lot of times people don't look up. And so I have one picture, one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken was a result of me like being in this mindful state and, and looking up and seeing what I can find. And I took a photo of this building the angles of the architecture were, you know, just framing this one little small orange door in front of this super blue sky. Things like that, like, I, I, felt, I felt that feeling me. I felt that, you know, bring me back to, to, you know, a good place when I was, like, in a, in a you know, a tough mental area. Memphis is 
there's there's like a heart here. I have the opportunity to be around so many black artists. It's kind of like a fuel to, to keep me going and to, uh, to be amongst that is such a blessing, such a blessing. It, it's motivating.